Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we're talking to Saroop Chandran from Sonicool for the second of our Sonicool series. Saroop is here to talk to us today about Sonicool's new capture client technology and the key features behind it. Thanks for coming along, Saroop, and welcome to the jam. Thanks, Mish. Thanks for having me here. It's great to be talking to all of you today. Fantastic. So um, first off, can you explain to us what um, Sonicool Capture Client does and how it can help businesses with threat management? Absolutely. So I, I think, you know, as much as it's been sort of laid to death of sorts, um, the fact is the pandemic and the new normal has completely changed how people view security. And the traditional approach has always been to look at perimeter security and how end users on the networks are protected using some sort of network security capabilities for the most part. But mobile workforce has exponentially grown and there's a continuous lack of visibility. You know, pre-pandemic, pre-new normal, you'd have a few users that would go out to do VPN, remote access from time to time. But now pretty much everybody, at least half or more of the workforce is out all the time. And a large number of them are out for most of the week as well. So administrators are really concerned with lack of visibility and control over these endpoints and you know, whether their remote users are actually secured and remain secure as they provide them access to corporate resources. What's worse is threats are becoming more sophisticated. I mean, we had last year, that is 2021, was a crazy year, starting with solar winds right at the very start, all the way through Hive Nightmare, Han Key, Rebel, Ransomware Gang, and so many more types of public public incidents. And so where Capture Client really comes in is we provide a endpoint security software that brings the best of both worlds together. One is we provide a next generation anti-malware capability uh, and, and we partner with Sentinel One to deliver that. But in addition, we also have integrated that with our platform. So it integrates with the Sonicwall Capture ATP, which is an award-winning cloud-based malware analysis platform with our real-time deep memory inspection capabilities, as well as with the Sonic World firewalls to offer you know, better visibility, better enforcement, and you know, insights into what the endpoints are doing and who the users are on them. NetNet, it's really a product that's designed to protect users, whether they're on network or off network and wherever they go. For sure. And why would you say it's so important for businesses to leverage advanced EDR and threat hunting capabilities? That's a great question, Mitch. So, I mean, you know, you want to probably think about how endpoint security has evolved over time. If you think about it, maybe, I don't know, seven, eight years ago is when this terminology or the technology called next-gen antivirus came into play. Uh, prior to that, every antivirus vendor had a more legacy technology that was what is called signature-based, which is all it's really doing is it's looking for what it knows is bad and blocks that, right? But the problem is with the threats becoming more sophisticated and they're actually evolving faster than we can think, there's no way to keep up with knowing what's bad. So next, an antivirus came along to sort of bring this capability of protecting from what you think could be bad using machine learning and AI-based algorithms as well. But after that, while everyone was so happy with protection, you know, and traditionally people will say prevention is better than cure, it really isn't the case always with security. There's always something that will come along that's probably better. And at that point, it, it isn't really a matter of, are you going to be breached? Are you going to be attacked by another new malware? It's a question of when are you going to be attacked and how quickly can you respond? So advanced EDR on what we offer with Capture Client uh, gives you the capability to be more proactive about finding some of those threats, finding out more suspicious activity in your environment. Let's take a couple of examples of that, right? So imagine something like Solaris, there's the, the whole solar winds issue and sunburst happened last year. The question that was on top of everyone's minds is, am I affected by this? I'm using solar winds, or I have a third party supplier that's going to be using solar, solar winds for, you know, for their managed services or something of that sort. So am I affected by this, by this attack? How do I know? And the only way to know is, you know, there's a, plenty of information available about what some of the indicators of attack could be for such incidents. And 
the typical thing that people want to do is go and look in their environment, see if they can find that. Is there a file? Is there a connection to a bad IP address? Is there a particular registry entry or processes running that might be associated with this kind of an attack? But a traditional prevention technology is not going to help you with that. That's where advanced media and threat hunting will come. Another classic example we find is, you know, with the increasing number of ransomware incidents, a lot of customers are thinking, that's great, I have a product that protect, protected me, but am I absolutely cleaned up? It got blocked. It got removed from some of my endpoints, but it specifically may have gotten removed from endpoints that weren't protected before. But it, has it removed all traces? Is it gonna come back again? Now, are there other hidden and dormant pieces of it that are lying around that need to be cleaned up further? How do I know? Search and destroy, essentially, right? Or more, if you're a more advanced customer, you're thinking, well, I do want to be able to do this threat hunting, but I don't really have the skills to do that. And, and I can't do that all the time. I don't have people that I can staff for 24 seven doing this kind of searching and hunting for proactive threats. So can I take some of the more mundane tasks of search and destroy and automate them so that I can then have my smarter people focus on looking for really, really the most sophisticated things that probably nothing will ever catch up there. I'd say those are probably some of the most important ones. But again, I'll, I'll come back to the point I made earlier, right? Net, net, it's not a question of if, you get breached or if you have a ransomware attack. It's just a question of when. And the real question you should be asking yourself is how quickly can you respond? Sure, for sure. Um, and if we kind of take that into context for um, Sonic Wall and some kind of customer stories in that sense, can you give us a bit of a, um, a rundown on some of the success stories you guys have had with the cat client directly? Sure. So I, I can give you a couple of incidents that we had with uh, and some experiences we've had with some of our partners. So Capture Client's biggest success in the last couple of years as we've evolved has come through MSSPs, our managed security services. Board. There's no surprises there right? because, you know, large enterprise, mid-sized enterprise, small, small, medium business. The fact is there is a skill shortage problem and there's no way that everybody's gonna be able to ramp up and build their own security teams to be able to deal with the sophistication of threats that are coming out today. And this is where managed security services providers come into play because they bring the skills, they bring the tools, they bring the capabilities, the best practices, and they're able to deliver those outcomes for those customers, which is detect and respond to all threats that are out there, right? Whether automatically or using you know, processes and tools for that. So we have a few MSSPs and one, one classic example is an MSSP who had a, a ransomware incident of a content ransomware, content ransomware, I should say, uh, with one of their healthcare customers, highly regulated, uh, you know, because they're in the healthcare business. And so very, very concerned always if they have an attack because it's not only about patient data, but also it could start affecting actual critical infrastructure as well. Um, in this particular case, it, a classic, situation that would have happened in the old world is ransomware comes in stealthily, it lands on an endpoint, it runs a fileless kind of attack on an endpoint. So traditional file-based anti-malware would catch it, then it starts doing lateral movement using scripts and things like that. It moves across multiple endpoints, starts infecting hundreds of endpoints in one go. Right. And then at that point, you know, the customer is trying to it would typically be trying to use firewall logs, you know, whatever endpoint security capabilities they have, and then fumbling for, okay, how do I know if this is really protected or not? It'll take them hours. And there's plenty of research that has shown that, you know, typical incidents like this would take them hours, days, weeks, sometimes even months to be able to first find it, then respond to it and fully clean it up. This MSSP had capture client installed on their customers endpoints, and they had everything detected, protected, and cleaned up in 80 minutes. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's awesome. That's very, very cool. Um, and uh, I mean, people are obviously going to um, want to know more about this technology and, and hit you guys up about it. How can everyone kind of get involved in or get in contact with you guys and request um, uh, a trial and, and get more on board with Catch Client? It's a great question. I, I think, you know, the best place to start if you're not a SonicWall customer is definitely go to our website, right? Um, we have it out there loud and clear with lots of assets around, you know, our data sheets, white papers, links to videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube video channel, certainly go there. There's a playlist dedicated for Capture Plant. We'll show you all the cool things that we can do with our product. Um, you can also request for a free trial to our website if you're not a SonicWall customer. But of course, if you are a SonicWall customer already, that means 
you likely have a, a, an account with what we call our MySonic Vault platform. And if you do, you know what, just log in there, the trials are free, you can sign up for a trial for yourself right away. Activate the trial, download the client, install, and you are ready to go. That's all you need. Well, fantastic. Well, thanks so much for uh, telling us all about that. And I'm sure um, we'll get a lot of people that are looking forward to exploring um, perhaps client opportunities and uh, everything else that Sonnet Wall has to offer. Um, yeah, thanks again and uh, all the best. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. And thanks, folks, for listening to us.